Tonight, there's a new push to save a Fort Worth landmark. The movie theater is in a prime location and has a storied history, but time has taken a toll on the building, even the name. New at 5, News 8's Bradley Blackburn takes us inside the ISIS theater. It was a cathedral to movies, an enormous space with seats for 900 to watch the silver screen. We're going to try to take it back to the way it was in the 1920s and 30s. Jeffrey Smith can still see that picture, even among the piles of debris, the missing roof, the faded glory. The proscenium arch. This Fort Worth native plans to restore this place. Solid metal. He says the wheels are already in motion. And our goal right now is to try to be ready by Christmas next year. He to took us to the projector that. room where vintage machines still stand at attention. He plans to keep as much of the history as possible, including that name. Isis had a different image back in the early 20th century named for the Egyptian goddess. The Isis theater, there were several nationwide. It was almost like a Cinemark or a Tinseltown or things of those. It was a chain. The future of this place would still include movies, but also a lot more. We're going to use it for live entertainment, small uh, theater performances. Others have tried to restore this theater in the more than 30 years it's been vacant, but they say this time all the pieces are in place. The theater was built more than 100 years ago in the heart of the Fort Worth Stockyards, where a massive expansion and revitalization program is now underway. It is a prime location. 1914 was the design. He says they have a team and are close to having funding in place. I think it's going to be very different because we're in it for the long haul. A lot of work ahead, but it may be a new beginning for the new ISIS. In Fort Worth, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News.